Geothermal energy is obtained from the internal heat of the planet and can be used to generate steam to run a steam turbine. This in turn generates electricity, which is a very useful form of energy. All the traditional reform energy sources saves you money on your energy bill, but geothermal energy is the more cheap way to go. Hydro, wind, nuclear, and solar are all costly to produce. Wind turbines cost millions to create, and solar panels are high costly to make your home solar energy efficient. It would cost around $100,000 to $200,000 to do so. Nuclear energy is highly polluted, and the cost to keep production running costs the government ongoing amounts of money, but geothermal energy, once installed, is free. There are many cultural effects for the geothermal energy. The American Indian tribes and the Native Hawaiians are both one of the affected groups. They have many opportunities, empowerment, and energy choices. Opportunities for rural economic development through direct use applications. American Indian land companies own about 5% of the U.S. land and they contain about 10% of all energy resources. In Hawaii, they produce about 30 megawatts of energy and is currently negotiating another 8 watts with the Hawaii Electric and Light Company. The Geothermal Working Group has spent the past few months assessing the potential impact of expansion of the geothermal production that could have on the environment and Native Hawaiian culture, values, and practices. Availability. Only a few locations in the United States, California, Hawaii, Nevada, and Utah, have high temperature resources. This is good for geothermal energy. Seven additional states have geo geothermal projects under construction. Five of those states already have power plants under construction. These states are Texas, Arizona, Idaho, New Mexico, Oregon, Washington, and Wyoming. Other countries, including Canada, Indonesia, Iceland, a country with large geothermal resources, use energy to provide only 9% of its home's heating and 20% of its electricity generation. Environmental. Geothermal energy produces no air emissions. Geothermal, geothermal energy is, a, is renewable. Resources are being used for geothermal energy is molten rock from under the Earth's surface. The process of harnessing energy from geothermal activity is fairly simple, yet this depends on how you wish to make ge the geothermal energy work for you. The two main types of geothermal power come from the center of the earth and the sun. You probably know that the sun heats the first few feet of the ground we walk on to a significant degree, and, and then this heat is lost during the night. During the winter months, this temperature is much greater than the average temperature of the air above the surface. It, to extract this heat, we, mu we are able to run hundreds of meters of piping in loops to save space under the ground. These pipes are then filled with water and a pump pushes cold water through the pipes to the exit area. The water is collected in a boiler where it can be directly channeled to a mechanism such as under floor heating or it can be heated to a higher temperature by the boiler and used for the building's hot water supply. The heating of the water is more environmentally friendly than heating cold wa colder water. <laughs> it is said that for every unit of electricity you put into, geo you put into geothermal energy systems, three to four units are saved. Geothermal energy processes are able to work in many different ways, which allows you to harness different amounts of energy for, for, for different locations. This is how it all works.